Hi, welcome back. Now, in this video, we will go through the 2021 Mathematics Paper 2 questions. Let's get started. Do pause the video if you wish to read the questions. I would assume that you have already tried the questions and you are just checking your solution and answer now. Now, in question 1a, uh, these are the conditions. You must have the odd number and must be the largest number. So, this will be the answer. For the second one, the final number closest to 6,000, the method is you need to think about what's the largest possible 5,000 number and the smallest possible number that starts with 6. And then you find the difference. I can see that this difference is the smaller difference. Therefore, this is the answer for part B. Question 2. Now, since you need to find the least number of boxes, that means you need more of the larger boxes and fewer of the smaller boxes because the larger boxes can hold more cupcakes. So let's divide the total number of cupcakes by 24, which is this. To find out, we need three large boxes of the largest boxes and then 18 eight, uh, cupcakes remain. And then 18 cupcakes divided by 12, this will be the medium box. Then you'll find out you need one of the medium-sized box and you have six remainder. And these remaining six cupcakes can enter the small box. So total three large box, one medium box, one small box gives you five boxes. Now in this question, you need to think about the equivalent between the large books and the small books. So the space is the same, which means the larger books occupy the same space as the smaller books. Fewer larger books occupy the same space as the smaller books. So 30 large books occupy the same space as 45 small books. Or you can say 2 large books occupy the same space as 3 small books. So that means that 3 small books take up the same amount of space as 2 large books, as I've just mentioned. That we show here. If that's the case, you can see that uh, if 3 large books take up the Three small books take up the space of two large books. 23 small books will take up the space of 2 divided by 3 times 23, 15 and 1 third large books. Since there are already three large books there, so 15 and 1 third plus 3 is 18 and 1 third large books. Total of 30 large books Subtract this, I get 11 and 1 third large books. Since there is no 1 third of a book, so the rest of the bookshelf can still hold another 11 more large books. Now, question 4. Now, the condition here is every person can only play one spot. So, as you can see from the model here, all right, this is how I come up with the answer. So, this is 1 third second one third, third one third and then I cut this into six right this part into six equal parts why six equal parts so I can distribute these six parts into four versus two why four and two because we are told that half the the pupils who played handball was half that who played basketball handball two parts basketball four parts two is half of four this red color part is this four this is here so of course if i cut into three this part will be like that so for the handball that will be two parts football three parts basketball four parts and the fraction of the people who play handball will be two out of a total of nine the graph shows here all right, so let's find out at this portion here. At 30 minutes, you have 240 cards being printed. At 10 minutes, you have 150 cards being printed. So, if you look at it here, you will find out that um, in 30 minutes, 240 cards are printed. So, in 5 minutes, you divide 240 by 6, you have 40 cards being printed in 5 minutes by printer A. Now for printer B, in 10 minutes, 150 cards are printed. So in 5 minutes, same, 5 minutes, 75 cards are printed. So the difference in them will tell you 35 more cards were printed by printer uh, by B than by A. Now then, 
Both machines did not change their rates of printing throughout. So when A had printed 200 cards, how many cards had B printed? Well, we know that 40 cards were printed by A in 5 minutes. So 200 cards were printed by A in 25 minutes times 5 times 5. So in 25 minutes, B would print 75. You see, in 5 minutes, it would print 75. So in 25 minutes, it would print 75 times 5, 375 cards. So here, to, in order to read the graph, you must first find out what is the size of each of these marking. So here, you find out each of the marking here increases by uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then find out what is the value of this couple of dots here. First one, at what time had the florist sold half the total number of flowers that sold? So I found out each portion increased by 5. Altogether here, this is the total number is 80. So half of 80 is 40. And where is 40? 40 is at 10 o'clock in the morning. So first answer is 10 o'clock. Second one, during which one hour interval was there no flower sold? When no flower is sold, means that the line will remain flat. This is a line that remains flat, and that's between uh, 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. So 1,400 hours or 1,500 hours, or 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What was the average number of flowers sold per hour from 11 to uh, from 11 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon? So first find the difference in the uh, here. So at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, that's the end of the day, 80 flowers were sold. At 11 o'clock, 45 flowers were sold. So they find... 35 flowers were sold during this period of time. So that period of time is actually 7 hours. 1, 2, right? From here to here is actually um, 5 hours. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 35 hours over 5 hours. 35 flowers, sorry, over 5 hours will be 7 flowers uh, per hour. So that's the average number of flowers sold per hour. 7 flowers. So... For this question, you must understand the properties of different shape. Equilateral triangle will be a triangle with three side equal sides and angles are all 60. A rhombus has four equal sides. Opposite angles are equal and there are no right angles in a rhombus. Now, here let's add a clues in to make this make sense to us. Equilateral triangle means I will add these lines in. Alright. That will help me to understand, oh, this is actually 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees. I need to find this value, this angle Y. To do this, let me first find out. Um, I use 180 minus 96 minus 60. Why? I'm finding out this angle is actually 24 degrees. I use this straight line property, which is 180 minus these two. After this, I realize that angle CBA is equal to CDA. CBA is equal to CDA. Remember, rhombus opposite angles are equal. So this angle is actually 102 degrees. How is that helpful? I use angle about a point now to find this angle. All right, C, D, uh, H here, right? So this angle here, 360 minus 102 minus 155, I get this angle is 103. This is 103 degrees. So how is this helpful? Now I can find out this angle is actually 53 degrees. How? 180 minus 24 minus 103, I get 53 degrees. Once I have 53 degrees here, this is a vertically opposite angle. This angle is also 53 degrees. Now I have a triangle here. And so in this triangle here, all right, I have 60, I have 53. To find angle Y, it's very simple. 180 minus 60 minus 53, I'll have 67 degrees. Next one. Now, this is the first fan and second fan. So, first fan was sold at 55% discount. That means uh, Singy only paid 45%. Second fan, she paid, 70, uh, uh, she paid only 30%. She don't have to pay this. Discount means the amount you don't have to pay. So, she only paid 30, uh, 30%. Sorry, uh, it's a type writing mistake here. 30%. So, all in all, she only paid 75%. So this is equivalent to 75% then. To find out what is 1%, I divide these two numbers, I get $1.70. So 100% will be the price of one fan before the discount. 
That's 170 times 100, I get $170. Now, Nick also bought two such fans at the price before discounts, also original price. So how much more did Nick pay than Sing Yi? So Nick paid a total for two fans. If one fan before discount is 170, two fans before discount is $340. This is the amount Nick paid in total. This amount Sing Yi paid in total, as, it, as we have seen from the question. The difference is this. So Nick paid $212.50 more than Sing Yi. Alright, so the first eight question is done for this video. Uh, watch out for part two for the next remaining uh, nine questions.